Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. the object of power. I need to close it.
TV. Now I can find Dylan.
villain. He's so close. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. my brother. You have to write everything in a made-up gibberish code. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There were six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hefton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is... They weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Marish. And I won't let them stay hiss. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy. Oh my god, did she have to write everything with a made up Jewish code? Fucking Marshall. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. 
After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. We never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Dylan Faden's sister. 
He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. You push your fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please stop that. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. So nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worm is a tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe... Maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The thunders come to storm. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. 
a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warmth through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes with white curls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through all mirrors, the inverted is made red. Figure inside the light pool.
gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Or Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. Uh, you're coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, I mean, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, so much potential. Dylan wanted me to see. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking.
started there, and it's... Never gone away. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I breathe 